in Innsbruck, flying part is over, now we're going to jump in a car, head even deeper into those mountains. Scarred from the moment when I saw you leave, how will it feel if I break through the tree? I think we're definitely in the right place. And these are gonna be the toys with which we're gonna be playing for the next couple of days. Holy bonkers. Yeah, yeah, this'll do. I think this'll be okay. And what is this? Stonewalled walk-in rain shower. Yeah, I'll take it. Complete with complimentary rucksack and hiking sticks. Most impressively of all. Look at that view. This is quite insane. We saw the BMWs out the front. Those are the bikes we're going to be riding on. And this is going to be our playground all day tomorrow. So I'm so very excited. Look at that. Well, ladies and gents, if you ignore my crap, which I've exploded all over the floor here, you get to see why I only needed this tiny little bag and I didn't have to bring any gear with me because the folks at Lewis have given me all of this stuff to wear tomorrow so that I look as shiny and badass as is humanly possible up on the Stelvio. So tomorrow I'm going to be wearing the Nishwa Enduro GT, which is the fiberglass version of my carbon fiber helmet. Then we've got a pair of Venucci Competizioni 2 gloves. And then a very swanky pair of Venucci Art XVII leather trousers, along with the matching Venucci Art XVII leather jacket. Underneath that is going to be going a very, very tasteful Venucci racing under onesie. And then we've got an exceptionally sporting looking pair of Venucci RV6 Pro boots, a handy piece of multifunctional headwear in case I want to get really creative. And then last of all, a hard shell Venucci Sportivo rucksack with this very fancy looking carbon fiber effect. So yeah, this is all the stuff that I'm going to be wearing while I'm charging around the mountains tomorrow. And the only shame is I can't really wear this stuff until tomorrow, but I think I'm going to have to try it on, aren't I? Well, it's only going to happen again, isn't it? Too bloody excited to sleep. But can you really blame me? I've got this waiting outside my bedroom. This is just insane. This place is incredible. The crazy spearmint colored water flowing down the hills. And most amazing of all, the sun is shining. It's supposed to be raining already. Just hope that lasts for the rest of the day, eh? But yeah, it's kind of a bit like I'm just, Oh, Christmas morning and I'm the excited kid that can't sleep so I'm just waiting for all the other boys and girls to wake up so we can go out and play. Come on people, wake up. Well this is it, we're actually doing it. Forget the ski lifts, we're taking these petrol powered crotch rocket super machines up to the top. Oh, excited does not even begin to cover how I'm feeling right now. And despite all of these beautiful, beautiful BMW machines, all from edelweissbike.com, through the power of gloves shotgun, this is gonna be my steed for the next hour as we ride to the top of the Stelvio. The BMW R9T with this simply beautiful brushed aluminium tank 
Is it aluminium? Could be steel. I'm not sure. Looks like aluminium to me. Oh yeah, I'm so very excited about this. So, once this hideous view blocking truck gets out of the way, I think we're gonna hit it and uh, I'll see you at the top of that bad boy. an incredible event for Lewis to put on. And also, I definitely don't want to forget the fact that they've done this in partnership with Moho, which is Motorrad Hotels, which in case you hadn't guessed, means motorbike hotels. And this is a company based mainly in the Alps, and they offer anything from complete turnkey, they'll arrange a bike for you, they'll arrange a hotel for you, they'll give you downloadable GPS tour data, or they can quite simply just give you advice for a hotel, sort you out with a booking. So uh, if you're thinking about coming to the Alps, Definitely check out Moho. I've never been up here before. Wow. Look at that. That is quite simply friggin' awesome. <laughs> Snow all around us as well. I need to leave my mark, don't I? Check it out, I was here. Well, folks, we are now moving on. We've done a bunch of photos, we've done a bunch of dicking around, we've done a bunch of chin wagging, but now we are moving onwards to do a bit more photographication and... Yeah, that's stimmt, oder? Just saying this bike is way too low for me. Well, it's probably right, look at my legs. They're like nearly 90 degrees with my feet flat on the floor. It's definitely a very low bike. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Wrong group, I've gone the wrong way. I don't know. Well, at least he's not sure either. So many motorbikes everywhere, it's difficult to see which is our group. Ah, yeah, there they are over there, look. Ah, yes, somebody mentioned this last night. This is like a closed section, so we can do some stuff without worrying about people buggering about and getting in our way. Very nice. So I've made a change there, possibly a bit foolish when we're about to do photos, but I've now got the Ducati Scrambler 1100. That sounds amazing. I'm going to have this for the next section of this ride after we've done this photo as well. And there's a sad reason why we couldn't do a couple of curves on this one, because uh, it's kind of a little bit snowed in. It just sounds so awesome. That's the brap that I'm missing since I've had a four-cylinder. Ah, looks like we're done. Next stop is moving on to the next stop. And we're off again. Got a couple of steps further down to the next bit of photo action ability. What a beautiful racket.
<laughs> it's a Rev Bomb Circus. Oh, this is just incredibly. The fact that the weather is doing an amazing job of holding up its end of no bargain that we made. And that I get to come and spend one day in the Stelvio Pass, in the mountains, without any of the traveling down here. No miles on my bike, no wear on my bike. Cannot say thank you enough. Louise Edelweiss Bikes, Moho, thank you. This is like this little boy's dream come true, it really is. And the fact that in 20 minutes or so, I'm gonna be able to change onto a different amazing bike. Oh, look at that. I've always gone that way before. Yeah, this time, something new. Yeah, this is good. This morning, starting off on the R90, I really felt like I was a bit off the pace and even considered for a short second switching to the slower group. Didn't want to hold anybody up. Didn't want to be dangerous by not being able to keep up, but feel a lot more relaxed now. And also all the gear, considering it was brand new on this morning, it's shaping to me very nicely. Feels pretty much just as comfortable as the stuff that I've been wearing for months already. But then I had that feeling with the first Vanucci leather two-piece as well. It seemed to fit me well to start with. And then any stiffness after a couple of hours of riding was pretty much all gone. it down a little bit there. What a great bit of curvage. <laughs> oh, I just love it. Oh, the whole Everything about motorbiking, the motorbike community, the motorbikes, the motorbike places. I just love all of it. a great deal of fun. Livonio! Oh, a stunning valley. I really wanted to come here last time I was up this way, but we didn't have the time after the crash and the preceding repair dilly-dally. So good, we get to come through this way this time. These valleys are incredible, aren't they? They just look like they go on forever. They're just snaking in between the peaks down there. It's like we're heading off to Mordor in the background there. Proper. And we really are down in the lowlands. Yeah, actually, that's really quite nice. A bit of breeze on the knackers. Uh, betwixt the wooden top houses, we find our breaky, breaky break stop. There we go. We're done for lunch. See you after we've stuffed our faces and hopefully charged some stuff up. Ta ta! Well, labels and my jelly spoons, my powers of persuasion have paid off and we're having a go on the S1000R. Let's have some fun, shall we? I'm very excited about this. I think this is about the closest thing that we've got here today to uh, my FZ1. Let's be having you. This is the last stretch of the day, ladies and gents. Hopefully those clouds aren't gonna piss on us too much. Wow, well, it's very breezy through my arm slots there. And it's quite nice as well that I finally get to ride a bike which matches my leathers perfectly. Lovely bit of red on red action. It sounds like the name of a communist stripper act, doesn't it?
This is our final destination, ladies and gents. Land Hotel Anna. So that is the end of the riding for today. All that remains for us to do is park up, get changed, get sloshed, have some dindins. And there we go, finished. Riding section all done. As the bikes come streaming in, what a day. What a day of riding that was. Absolutely amazing. Good morning. It is the morning after the night before and there was an insane amount of rain last night. But amazingly, everything has cleared up. But sadly, this whole dreamlike three-day adventure unfortunately has to come to an end. So goodbye to all of this. And uh, yeah, back to real life. Thank you so, so much to Lois Motorrad for having me along, for inviting me to this incredible experience. It's been just, uh, words can't explain how awesome this has been. The people here have been fantastic. It's been awesome to spend time with all of these great vloggers, Instagrammers, media creators, and also it's a real bonus that everything has been 100% about motorbikes. Unfortunately, I have to pack up my stuff, jump in a bus, ride back to the airport and fly home. Goodbye mountains. Until next time, don't go anywhere. Look at this, this is just mean. They've left two bikes out in front of the bus just to tease us as we leave. 